Hey YouTube, what is up? I'm the Rock Nerd Delta Guys, and I have a super fun way to counter Zernus. Hope you all enjoy it. Come on in and enjoy the show. Hey YouTube, what is up? I'm the Rock Nerd Delta Guys, and today we'll be talking a lot about a fun way to counter Zernus. You already see the Del Fox, and you're probably thinking, oh, this will be interesting. So hope you all stay tuned and uh, come check this out. So let's jump right in this, guys. First off, why Delphox? Well, actually, and where did I get the idea? Well, actually, I be, was testing it in 2015 uh, prior to Nationals. It was a little fun Pokemon I really enjoyed. I ended up going with Blaziken, as you all saw in all the usage on the channel last season. Uh, but Delphox was great. With Choice Scarf, I could also be an Oko Landers with HPI, same with Salamence, and all those mons. I could use Psychic and Overheat to get a lot of damage off, and then switch your own fort. Uh, I could either give to my Pokemon or lock other Pokemon into a move, such as something weak like Thunder Wave was um, Thunderous. So, a lot of fun things. But this year, uh, oh, and instead of running Steel Swap, I ran Will O Wisp because I could to punish Sucker Punch users. But now, we are in 2016, and fast Will O Wisp users aren't as in supply as demand anymore. However, Xerneas counters are. So here is probably my favorite way to beat Xerneas, guys. Delphox. I love Delphox. It's great. Here's how it works. You run Choice Scarf and then Switcheroo. You could run Specs if you wanted to, but I see no reason to. I think Choice Scarf is definitely the way to go. Uh, simply, you Switcheroo a Xerneas, and now you have the power, but then he has, oh, I'm sorry, it has the Choice Scarf now just locked into that move. And most Xerneas run Protect and or and Geomancy and then two attacking moves which means already can't use half its moves if it decides to switch out and that makes it a lot easier to predict. Also, Delphox natural bulk allows it, I believe a non-boosted, uh, I'm sorry, a non-boosted Dazzling Gleam is not even a 2 KO and a 2 plus max special attack Dazzling Gleam isn't even a, is a 2 KO so Delphox can definitely take them very type attacks rather well. Phase 104 speed allows it to where even it doesn't have its choice scarf. It's still really fast, allowing it to get a lot of damage off. Skill swap is a lot of fun because it allows you to control the weather. It also allows you to give take to um, give other Pokemon Magician. I'm sorry, I blanked out there for a moment. Such as Primals or Mega Pokemon. Let's say you want to give them Magician because their ability is already used. In this case, I'm using Gengar. He already has Paris Trap up, in this case now Delphox does. Or the Primal already had the weather up, now Delphox reactivated the weather or whatever. But now the Primals and or the Mega Pokemon, since they no longer are holding that Orb or Stone they're used to Primal or Mega Evolve, they can now use Magician and actually steal moves and get them back, which is just pretty cool. And then here's Gengar. Same concept though, you can force a Pokemon with Choice Card for Switcheroo and then you disable it, boom. Now the force just to struggle. And you know, this is just a pretty small strategy. This is a fun way. It's obviously not the best way or maybe the most effective way, but it's definitely a fun way. It definitely works. I believe it is viable. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. And you know what? That is pretty much it. I am the Rocket Adapter, guys. You have a blessed day. I will be pumping out more videos coming out this weekend. See y'all later, and uh, you have a great day. God bless.